Hey, this is Chip coming at you with the next Team Chip Minute. What is the one thing that most people desire the most in the world? It's to be loved. It's to be needed. It's to be wanted. It's to be trusted. So today we're going to talk about something called personal responsibility, or it could even be called social responsibility. You know, you can relate to this if you've ever bought a car before. You know, you go down, you don't want to buy the brand new car because you don't want to take that pop of depreciation that hits you when you buy the new car. So you start looking around at those nice, clean used cars. And you're looking at them, and you're talking to the sales guy, and the sales guy goes, yeah, this is a program car or whatever. And you go, what's a program car? Well, we bought it from a rental car company. And all of a sudden you go, a rental car? Oh my God, I don't want to drive a rental car. Why is it that all of a sudden you get that sensation of, I don't want a rental car? Well, I think what it is, is because you know, myself included, I'm guilty of this. When you get in the rental car, you kind of think to yourself, it's not mine. I'm going to drive it the way I want to drive it, and I don't have to worry about being real careful with it. So, you know, I think that's kind of the mindset in society sometimes. We want to be loved, we want to be trusted, and, and we, want to, we, you know, we want people to depend on us. But sometimes whenever we're using other people's equipment, we just kind of toss it around and we don't show it a whole lot of respect. In, in essence, if we're not showing their equipment respect, we're really not showing them respect. So how do we ever expect to be trusted and loved, needed and wanted if we don't respect other people's stuff? So with that said, I'm going to encourage you, whenever you use other people's stuff, care for it like it's your own. Take personal responsibility, be socially responsible and care for that equipment, whether it's a rental car or using someone's workout equipment or whatever it is, be careful with it. Put it back where you got it. Clean up your mess when you're done. You know, the other day we're in a, a really nice business and someone, an employee is having to mop up mud off the floor and we're like, oh man, that's kind of sad. And he's like, I know, you know, people just come walking in here with their muddy old shoes and they really don't care because I think sometimes we just think, oh, they have somebody that's going to take care of that for us. Well, here's the thing, at the end of the day, that's affecting somebody's equipment, somebody's income. Somebody at the end of the day has to pay for that. How would you feel if the shoe was on the other foot and people were just tossing your stuff around every day and really didn't care? So here it is. I encourage you to go out there and be personally and socially responsible. Now I'm going to look you in your eye and tell you, you are awesome.